Let's jump in and see a demonstration of the basic level of the product and we'll take a look at how easy it is to create some sites and uh, talk about how content gets shared. So here I've signed into ArcGIS Hub. Yeah, I went to hub.arcgis.com and signed in. I could also reach this view from the application switcher in ArcGIS Online. And I'm, I'm signed in with an organization that has um, just the basic level of the product right now. So you can see in my hub overview, I can um, quickly create a site. So I'll create new site and I'll give my site a name. I'm not super creative, <laughs> but, but I, I'll just have a super site. Uh, and, and I'll give my site a name. And so what ArcGIS Hub is doing right now is it's um, creating the assets for me back in my ArcGIS Online organization. And it's also um, making ready a site template. And when it's done creating the assets it's creating, I will be, uh, I will land on a website editor. And you'll see that uh, there's no need to be alarmed. You don't have to worry about, oh, do I have to know HTML or CSS? The answer is no. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to be a web expert at all. You can cre create a site and edit it with a totally point and click. So here's my website template, and Hub includes a default website template for you. And uh, I just want to make a note that these website templates are responsive. So if you're worried about how will this work on a mobile device or a, a tablet, you need not worry. We've thought about that. Um, so some of the things I like to do right away is just start changing my site. Like, um, again, not very innovative, but I'll just call this my super cool site. Uh, you obviously will have a better name for your site. Um, and then uh, some of the things I like to do is uh, I get more inspired when I'm editing, when I can you know, have a beautiful photo in the background. So here I've gone to Unsplash, which is a site that provides free or images for use, for free use. And I'm going to copy this URL of that image. And I could upload an image as my background banner ad um, or just paste the URL. So I'm going to paste the URL. And just like that, I have um, an image for my, my banner. And I can do all kinds of image editing. We won't go into that right now. But I could I can change the appearance. I could make this um, do all kinds of things. Uh, the other thing to note is it's really easy to edit text. So if I, if I don't like what this text says, we have a rich text editor. And I can go ahead and, and edit the text right here. Oops, it helps if you spell. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's, that's a plug for you to all do this. And I can do things like change the text size. Maybe I want that to be big. I could bold it. I can um, center it all that good stuff um, right here. If I want to, I could always see the HTML and, and go um, you know, edit code to my heart's content, but I don't have to at all. But that, uh, you do have the ability to, to customize. Um, one of the things I mentioned that people use these sites for is to share their content. Pretty obvious, but one of the ways I like to share content is with a gallery of applications. So I'm going to drag a new row here um, and then in that row, I'm going to add a gallery to, to showcase my applications. And you, you'll notice these galleries can be populated with, um, dynamically populated, either with groups in your organization or using tags you have attached to your content. Um, or you can configure them manually. Today, I'm just going to use the manual option, which allows me to search for items or pick items from my organization. And I have some great applications here that I've created, uh, pre-created some great applications, and I'm just going to add those to my site. So right there, what it's doing is it's pulling in that information from ArcGIS Online and surfacing them right here. So I can do some things, by the way, I'm going to style this really simple things you can do, like maybe give them a drop shadow, change your button uh, text, you know, really easy to configure this, and maybe I want rounded corners. It's whatever your heart desires you can do. And then I'm going to save my site. And when I'm ready and I feel like it's, you know, beautiful enough, I can share it with my organization or out to the public. So it's really easy to get started. Um, there's some other tools in here we won't go into today, but we encourage you to start exploring the things you can do. 
Um, you can add maps to your site. And recently, with our last release on Tuesday, you're now able to add 3D scenes. You, can, you have the option now. Um, and you can add other things like charts. You can iframe in other types of content, which makes this really flexible. Uh, the other things you can do are add um, uh, video cards, social media feeds like Facebook and Twitter. It's all point and click, um, copy paste, no need to program, um, add your YouTube videos, and then search. If you want um, someone to search for, for content, you can simply um, add a search bar, configure it, you can put text there, and this will search content that you've added to your site. Thank you.